and talking about controversial, quote unquote, presidents, it's been a while since we've discussed the Philippines. A lot has been happening in this land of the enchanted islands. There are workers stranded in a stadium in the capital, Manila. There are protesters marching on the streets of the city. There are people getting arrested without any charges. There are uniformed officers taking over television stations. And then there's the president of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, promising to hunt down coronavirus patients like drug peddlers. Is this the end of democracy in the Philippines? Here's a report. This is not a refugee camp. These people are not asylum seekers. These are Filipinos stranded at a stadium in their own country. They were brought here to be tested for the coronavirus before they could return home. But they have been stuck here for weeks, crammed into stands, and forced to break social distancing rules. What I really want is for us to be able to go home. It's really hard here. We are exposed to many people and there is a tendency that we can get sick if we stay here longer. Outside this sports complex in Manila, thousands more are breaking social distancing norms, but for a cause. They are protesting against a controversial anti-terrorism law a law that could jail suspects for weeks without any charges. Not too far away from the site of these protests, another emotional demonstration has been underway for days. These are employees of the Philippines' largest news network, ABS-CBN, which reached about 70% of the 107 million inhabitants of the country. But not anymore. This news network has been shut by the government and the journalists have lost their jobs. Why? because it was highly critical of Rodrigo Duterte, the president of the Philippines. This attack on legitimate media, together with the recently passed anti-terror law, is a throwback to the time of autocratic rule under Marcos. Citizens, you have been warned. Your civil liberties have been eroded. Your democracy is shrinking fast. Democracy is indeed shrinking fast in the Philippines. Rodrigo Duterte's policies during this pandemic are pushing his country towards authoritarianism. He has increased his attacks on critics, deployed more police officials on the streets and reduced discussions on his policies in the parliament. In a recent decision, Duterte has ordered the police to raid homes and force test people for coronavirus infections. He is threatening to jail anyone who does not comply. A plan that human rights groups say will empower abusive officers who are already waging a bloody war on drugs. Since 2016, 6,000 narcotic users and dealers have been killed in Duterte's war on drugs. Now, the president plans on treating hidden coronavirus patients in the same way as drug peddlers. All this as he himself peddles bizarre methods for the poor to avoid getting infected. Watch how. What I said is true. Drink some alcohol. If alcohol is not available, especially for the poor, then you just go to the gasoline station and pour drops of gasoline in your hands. That is your disinfectant. And if there's nothing else, this is what you do. 
Rodrigo Duterte is clearly drunk with power. And he's making the Philippines dance to his tunes. Bureau Report, we on World is One.